Okay, so in this video, we're gonna put together our scary gatefold card. And here's the final one here. I'm gonna leave that in the corner so you all can see it. And this card's actually very simple. So this is the main piece here. I'm just gonna take that and fold it at the score marks here, okay? And what we've done is we've got a few pieces here um, that, as you can see here, they uh, are basically to reinforce the card to make it a little bit sturdier. Um, so we've got these two pieces here, okay? Those are just gonna get glued right on the front like that, okay? So you're gonna get those glued on, okay? I'm gonna just take those off for now. And then there are two panel pieces that go right on the front of that. Okay, and you definitely wanna get these glued on first before you glue on the top parts, the top panels, okay? And these get glued on here. There is a nice little border that goes all the way around that. Okay, so you're gonna glue that on like so. Okay, and once you get that glued on, there are two little handles for the gate that we did in a gold color. And I'm trying to find, here's the other one here. Okay, and as you can see, they basically form a little keyhole. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you get it on the correct way. And you'll see on this panel piece that we've actually cut out part of the keyhole to help you with the alignment. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you get that glued on in place. Okay, so where is it? It's gonna look like that. Okay, and it is gonna overlap a little bit. And when the two pieces come together, they should be pretty flush, as you can see there. Okay, so once you have, once you have that on, there are two additional panel pieces. Okay, and you can see that this one's go, that one goes there. Ugh. And then this guy here goes right there, okay? And obviously you're gonna put it on yours here. And once that's done, you can begin putting the pieces on the inside. And again, this is a very simple card. It's just a series of layered pieces. You're gonna glue that on like so. Okay, you can put your little, your little graveyard scene down here. Let me scoot that up a little bit for you. Okay, and then you're gonna glue this into place. Now, um, you'll notice on this piece here that there are some tiny little score marks uh, up at the top here, on the side there, and on the side there. There's also a little score mark down here, and that is to help you, well there's a series of score lines all over that piece, just to kind of help you align this properly so that you know where everything goes. Okay, so you want to kind of get it inside there. You can pretty much eyeball it, but we did add those there just to make sure that you know for sure that you have it in the right place. Okay, then you can glue down your boo and you can glue down your moon. Now we used a patterned piece of paper on the moon and I took and I actually inked around the edge uh, because this was just like a, a polka dotted um, pattern piece and I wanted to kind of make it look more like a moon so I add a little bit of distress to it. Um, also kind of distress the outer edges of our ghost, which we did in a white glitter. And that we actually pop dotted, okay? And that is your card. Now, one thing that you didn't see in the photos was the back of it, we included this little piece for journaling or for stamping. And that you just eyeball, just make sure that you get it nice and centered on the back and it's a perfect place for your sentiment or your stamp or to write a cute little message. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. 
For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.